Today I'm gonna be talking about two belts. Your weight loss tool belt. Your toolkit. The one you wear around your waist and you say, this is where I'm at, this is where I wanna get to, and this is what I'm gonna do to get there. And you have different tools for different jobs. You, you know, there's no one size fits all. Everyone's a little different, you know? My tool, personal tool belt, and also just the general idea of having a tool belt to tackle weight management, weight loss, maybe even weight gain. The tool belts are something that are very important for weight loss. And no, I'm not talking about metal. You know, I'm talking about a figurative tool belt for weight management. Um, with a good tool belt, when you fall off, you can recover. And I'm so confident in my recovery from my fall off because of my tool belt. Tool belts also help you with willpower, strength, you know, confidence, everything you need to tackle your weight. So today I'll be going over a few products. Okay, I just bought these joints. I might try them on camera, don't really know. But these are blood pressure monitors. This one is like 80. This one's probably like 30. This one, this one syncs to Wi-Fi. This one is more of the traditional blood pressure monitor. Okay. This is more of the traditional blood pressure monitor. All right. I would love to start doing food vlogging. You know, just some fun food vlogging here in Maryland. You know, since December 13th, I've been exploring. I went to Chima Steakhouse. Um, I've been to Shiba, Ethiopian, and Rockville. Where else have I been? I've been to, I've been to Pollo Loco, Pico Pollo in Germantown. I go there often though. We're gonna try this. We're gonna touch the monitor out while I collect my thoughts. over 89 that's what I would expect when I feel like this this that's usually what my blood pressure is so I, I like this blood pressure monitor I definitely will be using it and I definitely won't be returning it if the other one is comparable but it has all the bells and whistles so I'll probably use that one keep that one I'll probably give this one away to my mom the life blood, blood pressure monitor all right so the next product we have for review is the Armoron 10 series blood pressure monitor. Yeah, I, I see the instructions. Yeah, and I have to figure out how to sync this thing.
it gets the American African stamp of approval. <laughs> Whatever that means. So that's so dope, that's a dope product. So now we're gonna talk about um, my scale and my finished track and watch. After that, we'll talk about um, some apps that I use on my phone to track it and also maybe the web view, the web layout of it. And uh, I'll be making a video shortly about data collection and why it's so important that you collect, protect, and mine your own data. All right. So, all right, so this is the Yunmai. I think it's called Yunmai Pro. They are pretty much the same. It's called the Yunmai Premium Smart Scale. Okay. You can even scan a product label if you're interested in buying. That's, that's smart. That's smart marketing right there. I'll give you a brief look at the Yunmai app. So, for the Yunmai app, the scale app. This is how it looks. As you can see, my holiday slide, right now I'm at 370. I got down to 340. So this is just a quick look at the app, kind of showing how it reads my weight. So, you know, it takes about five seconds. Um, usually I notice large weight gains or small weight gains if I move the scale around and don't recalibrate. It's usually pretty consistent. I would say it's about 80% or same 5% consistent and accurate. But you notice here is a big fluctuation just, you know, a few seconds apart. So I'm not sure what type of technology they're using in it. But it reads differently than a traditional scale. It reads awesome. And it's easy to recalibrate. All you do is you stand on it, you wait for it to start reading, and then you get off it. Once it says zero, it cuts off, you're good. It's recalibrated for the new surface. So, but well, different surfaces give you different readings. That's what I don't like. A few other things. It even measures your height, okay? And along, of course, with your weight. So, most the number one thing I like about it is the body fat and the weight, of course. The water is interesting, the height is interesting, but you have to have moisture on the bottom of your feet in order for it to read accurately. So, I usually do it after I hop out the shower or sometimes in the morning. I just put some water in the tub, step in it, dry it off a little bit, then step on the scale. You don't want your feet to be wet, but you want them to be moist. All right, so the next product I'm going to be going over is this Apple Watch. This is a 3 Series Apple Watch. Okay, it's a custom band. And this also um, has like a, a case on it. And the different faces will allow you to try different three faces. I mean, it's, it's not really that hard to explain, man. It's 60 degrees today. The reason I like this product is that it tracks my heartbeat. That's the number one feature I like because I like to see what my heart is doing when I'm doing different things. Number one thing that I like to see what it what is acting or what is reading when I'm doing that activity is up and down steps, especially running up and down steps. And I've noticed that I mean, when I started my weight loss journey, I couldn't even walk up steps. I would have to go up one flight, rest, go up one flight, rest, go up one. It would literally take me five minutes to climb through the flight. Uh, yeah, it's, it was bad. Now I can run up three, wait, or maybe walk to the next set and then go up the next two, walking, maybe running up the last one. So it's definitely improved. And the craziest thing is my heart rate isn't as high when I do it as it used to be. So that means that I'm definitely improving in my health. And I wouldn't know that if I didn't use this product, you know, and track it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a nerd when it comes to this stuff. So, um, so you know, it tells you your averages, okay? It tells you your averages, can't get this thing to focus, but it's whatever. 
it tells you your averages and it tells you your current rate. It's good for working out too. A lot of times when I'm working out, a lot of times when I'm working out, I'll have this on. I'll, I usually always have this on unless I'm taking a shower. Even when I sleep, I wear this. So we'll get into that. But a lot of times when I'm working out, I'll, I'll use this to track my workout so I can see what my heartbeat was while I was working out. It also tracks calories and stuff like that. So it helps with that. This thing also tracks your steps. So it helps with that. It helps tracking your steps, which I sync with my fitness pal. So, you know, it gives me a little bit of uh, knowledge of how many calories I burn just in my everyday activities. So, yeah, this thing is very handy. Um, as far as sleeping goes, there's plenty of different sleeping apps you can get in the Apple Store. And um, those those apps, okay, um, will track the duration of your sleep. Um, when you were sleeping deeper and lighter, the interruptions in your sleep, and just give you an over idea of how much you're sleeping, how well you're sleeping. I've been collecting that data for a while now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or how it's really useful other than me seeing it and saying, oh, I'm not getting enough sleep. You know what I mean? But, um, so this is the My Fitness Pal app. This is probably my most used app. It's very simple, it might look complicated, but I use this to track each meal and it gives a breakdown of calories and macros such as carbs, protein, and fat. It's very handy. One thing I must say is that when it comes to weight loss, sleep is so important like I can't even believe how important sleep is when it comes to weight loss you know when you're sleeping I feel you burn the most calories I really don't know how to get this thing to focus well so here goes the sleep watch app so when you wake up every morning it'll ask you how you feel you know somewhat rested completely rested not rested at all and then it'll give you a breakdown of how you slept throughout the night how many hours of slept you got towards your goal, and how close you are to your target. It also gives you a breakdown of what exact hours you slept, as you can see here, and you can edit them if it's not accurate. And you can also manually add times. And you can go through each day and take a look at how you slept, what was your heartbeat at each time you slept, and things of that nature as well. look at the average sleep and heart rate so it gives you an idea of what, what was the average rate that your heart was beating while you were sleeping um, that's very handy I noticed that when my heart is beating faster I sleep less you know and that, that restlessness can be due to many things but I'll have to start doing research on that my holiday slide Right now I'm at 370. I got down to 340. So I've gained 30 pounds in about two weeks. Maybe three weeks. About three weeks. It sounds crazy, but I know what I've been eating, so I'm not surprised at all. I've also gained six pack six percent body fat. But um uh, if I do another fast, it'll come right off, so I'm not really tripping and I kind of did it on purpose, but we'll cover it in my holiday um, fall off and recovery vlog. 